Hello, this is the ANY Pony, and uh, I got on my Ask Tumblr a question, and I kind of thought I'd bring it here to my YouTube channel as well about the video I did a while ago, my forced ask video, my infamous one where I talked about pony mating habits and introduced two rather controversial ideas. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I enjoyed this far too much. Nevertheless, I got a question on not only on my Ask Tumblr, but also in the comment section of this video, like, what about... I, I probably should start first. First, I introduced, for everybody who hasn't seen it yet, in this video I introduced a concept I took from a fan fiction about um, mayors being able to reproduce with other mayors, with thanks to the magic of love, which, uh, yeah, as cheesy as it sounds, I still think, yeah, take this cipher. I still think that this is actually working. We are talking about a show where friendship is magic. So you can say strong emotions can cause some form of magic. And in the case of friendship, it is a evil slaying rainbow beam. And in the case of love, it is a possibility to impregnate somebody. And the funny thing is I call it the Asari theory because take the element of magic and replace it with some kind of psychic, linky, techno, bubble thingy and you got how Asari and Mass Effect got pregnant. Well, the thing is the Asari are an all-female race. So when they... there is one question that comes to mind when you tra transfer the Asari concept of reproduction into uh, MLP. What about the second gender? What about the males? Um, and this is pretty much the question what I got uh, was like, yeah, what about the males? Why, I mean, females don't need males anymore, they can reproduce with each other, and what about gay, gay stallions? I mean, gay males can reproduce. Gay stallions? What about them? And yeah, there is, sadly, I don't really have a good explanation. It is an unfairness. This is pretty much how I see it. If we take this hand ca head cannon for given, that is. Um, because I really like this head cannon and I was in my ask video, I was like, ooh, this is the greatest idea I've ever seen in my life! Um, no, not really. I was not channeling Chester Apa. Nevertheless, the thing was that, yes, there is no really satisfying explanation. Because Males lack the necessary organs to bear children, just like they do in real life, and it's the same thing for stallions. So how can I explain the second big question that always comes next? It's like, whoa, but why are there second genders to begin with when there is this magical Asari thing going on? And yeah, I, I, I can explain it. Um, I mean, this is just an explanation. It is kind of enough trying to keep this headcanon going. I know that it is not really the best explanation ever, but yeah, here it is. Anyway, wait. The thing is that why did the mayors develop this ability in the first place? Because basically in the very beginning they were like you would expect it from a mammal. They were two, they had two genders and the males were there to impregnate the women and then they bear children and the next generation is there. Now there is this very strange gender ratio, which was pretty much the, my starting point in my mentioned ask video because when you look at the show you see 90% girls all the time and there is a question oh how do they reproduce this way I mean yeah the obvious question which was also my first explanation I had in the video was like well polygamy polygamo polygamy yeah oh polygamy polygamo polygamy yeah oh so yeah because one stallion can impregnate many females so hey oh here we go but yeah, when there are really, really too few stallions, what then? When there is a town completely without stallions, then yeah, how to reproduce? And because, and there will nobody uh, argue with me, I guess, there is magic in Equestria. Oh my god, who would have guessed? Okay, we have this world where magic is de facto existing. No, it is not just when you take a show playing in real life and somebody uh, suddenly one character can do something completely out there and then the explanation is, oh, magic. This is nonsense, it's contrived bullshit. But in the case of MLP, we have magic. Magic is there. So you can take it into an equation. And now consider we have this race with an extreme lack of males. For what reason ever? 
make it war, make it uh, a genetic issue. I would go with the genetic issue because n right now the pony civilization is rather civilized and very high advanced, but we still see this extreme ratio. And now, because of the lack of males in the past, let it be a thousand years ago, something like this, because everything interesting happened a thousand years ago, and then there was a thousand year lo long period of boringness, and now there is the action again. There is, uh, there has been this issue that there was, the pony race was on the brink of extinction because there were too ma few males and the genetic material kind of uh, got too little to sustain this race without starting inbreeding and stuff like this. So thanks to the magical field, the mayors developed the ability to magically get impregnated. And why are there two genders? Because this was the original way. This was how it was supposed to be because they are mammals. They uh, were able to reproduce through normal sex. Then was this crisis and the mayors developed this new ability and with this ability of course they also developed a tendency to being uh, homo and bisexual because yeah evolution they it is basically an evolution in which magic plays a role. Now to come back to the, now we are thousand years in the future or we are in the present now we live now in a society which for genetic reasons has still a ratio five mayors on one stallion. This is a fair you can observe it in the show if you don't believe me watch my ask video now we have this imbalanced ratio which is genetically caused then we have females who have uh, over centuries developed the ability to get pregnant without the uh, normal stuff we know like uh, intercourse and semen and stuff like this they can kind of magically transfer their genetic or their magical signature into the other mayor and get her pregnant. I would even dare to say that a stallion can make another mayor pregnant as well without actual sex. Now what about, back to the original question, what about the male stallions, uh, the gay stallions? And it is a little bit like it is in real life. I mean, in real life, there exist gay males as well, even so they cannot reproduce. And it is sad because I could imagine that many of them not only would make great parents. I mean, see Neil Patrick Harris. He is gay, he has a husband, he has two kids, adopted. And seriously, I, I'm not too much into following stars, but what I see is that they are two great dads. This is better than a lot of heterosexual couples I see nowadays. So who the fuck cares about the gender of the parents? I mean, yeah, most likely the most healthy parents come from, uh, the most healthy children get raised by two opposite gender parents. Most likely, because this is a natural way. But nowadays, there are so many heterosexual couples who suck at being parents that I say, seriously, you want to tell me that a loving gay couple makes worse parents than a heterosexual couple who beats their children, who molests their children, who does all kind of crap? No, no. So, for the gay stallions, it is like in real life, sad, but yeah, they cannot reproduce. I guess they could also adopt children in, uh, in Equestria, so why not? And the good thing is, at least the one good thing is, they most likely will not have to face all the stigmatization and disapproval by society, because since the females developed homosexuality in a natural way, the gays are still, uh, or the males, and the gay males are still uh, accepted. And the society. Sure, they cannot reproduce and I would think, sure, in a big great fairness of everything they could, but yeah, they cannot. Yeah, this is pretty much my explanation. <laughs> oh my god, that's why these videos are called rambling. Anyways, this is Anne My Pony saying see you soon.